Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will discuss a question which says that A C 0 and B 2 0 are the two given points. A point P moves so that P square plus P B square is equal to 5. Find the locus of P. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. First is The equation of the locus is a relation between x and y which is satisfied by the coordinates of all points of the locus and by no others. And secondly, if the coordinates of point A are given by A x1 y1 and the coordinates of point B are given by B x2 y2 then by distance formula distance AB is equal to square root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now in the question A and B are given to fixed points whose coordinates are given to us and this condition is also mentioned here and we have to find the locus of P. That means we have to find the equation of the locus of the point P. That means that relation between X and Y which is satisfied by the coordinates of all points of the locus and by no others. Here it is given a moving point P. Now let the coordinates of P are x, y. Also the coordinates of A are 3, 0. Then, by using the distance formula, we can find out the distance PA. Now, distance PA is equal to x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square. As the coordinates of P are x, y and the coordinates of A are 3, 0. Which further implies on squaring both sides, P A square is equal to x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square. Which implies P A square is equal to x square plus 9 minus 6 x plus y square. Which further implies P A square can be written as x square plus y square minus 6 x plus 9. Now let us name this as equation number 1. Now in the equation, the coordinates of B are given as 2, 0. So given the coordinates of P are 
to 0. Therefore, again by using distance formula, distance PB is equal to square root of x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square. Which further implies on squaring both sides, PB square is equal to x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square. Which implies PB square is equal to x square plus 4 minus 4x plus y square. Which further implies PB square is equal to x square plus y square minus 4x plus 4. And let us name this as equation number 2. Now for forming the equation in x and y, that is, for finding out the equation of the locus, we will use this given condition. So this is PA square and this is PB square. So given PA square plus PB square is equal to 5. So putting the values of PA square and PB square here, this implies x square plus y square minus 6x plus 9 plus x square plus y square minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 5. Which further implies 2x square plus 2y square minus 10x plus 13 is equal to 5. Which implies 2x square plus 2y square minus 10x plus 8 is equal to 0. So on solving, we are getting an equation in x and y. That means we are getting the equation of locus of the point P by using the given condition. Hence, this is the required Equation of the locus of point P. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.